my favorite car from my favorite guy. <laughs> Get my windows repaired. <laughs> Doesn't look good. So yeah, they delaminated. Check where we are. South African flag. Nice photo. Just check this out. Woohoo! Sisu got a new toy. We are two crazies from South Africa. That's Frick and Pietru. We decided to chuck it all, and we are now living and sailing full time on our new home, Sisu. We had some time at hand and decided to go for a road trip all the way down to Florida Key. Okay, so this is our room for the night. More than ever. Yeah, we has a fan and a noisy air conditioner. And two TVs. Oh, <laughs> and two TVs. <laughs> this is more TVs than I had in what? <laughs> since, since, years. <laughs> yeah. so. What will be better than sex? It will be dessert. <laughs> we heard that all the action was in Duffel Street in the Kings, so Kings where we landed up. Oh, yes, one of the Woody T t shirts. <laughs> so, we sailed all the way to America just to find Willy T over here. Let's check this out. And don't, don't quote me, I didn't come here because I saw this. Like, this is not why we came in here. We came in, came in here because I saw this. Honestly. Look out for the Sisu sticker whenever you're in the area. Give it a shout out. And we even landed up at a drag show. We are pretty much here in <laughs> There's a leopard with some water <laughs> Cast away we, we just spoke about the movie Cast Away with Tom Hanks And and then we found a restaurant called Cast Away How, how random is that? Yeah, it's it passed away. <laughs> this is, this is uh, really... 1951. There's more marinas that side. And, uh, it is <laughs> this looks like it could be local as lacquer. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> A lot more than I did. I think I did 1500 in total. Uh, we did about 20... Look at that. Lots of my mind. Right? <laughs> yeah. I had an offer to go around the world and I turned it down because it would have been a five-year trip. Yeah, no, it's, it's a pretty long one. We, we hope it will take us more than 10 years. <laughs> nice. Yeah, we're taking our time. Good, you should. Yeah. Life's no rush. It's a new day. A new place. 
just check this out. And we need breakfast, so let's see what it looks so like. nice. So let's see what order at the bar. Ah. at the famous or infamous Robbie's. <laughs> we were told that it is expensive and touristy. But yes, it seems like a thousand cars. There's just like lots of cars. So I think there's lots of places. I don't think it's only Robbie's. So let's go and explore. Check all the cars. Another Mustang. I was super excited seeing Mustangs here, but they are becoming so common. Every second freaking car is a Mustang. So Corvette Stingrays are now my go-to cars, not the Mustangs anymore. There's an AI waitress that senses whenever somebody comes close and it moves out the way and even maneuvers between the tables without bumping into anything. We thought this was super cool. It was a nice fun full weekend but it was time to go back to Sisu. Next up, Bahama. <laughs> we are about to leave Just Catamarans and we have a little bit of a problem. Let me show you what is the little bit of a problem. So you see we are tied with this line like a spring line going all the way to that pole over there and we cannot reach it and that one there is, is maybe a little bit dark but it's also going to the pole so we have two lines going there and the wind is coming from behind us so it's going to push you through if we untie onto that pole over there. Hmm. Oh, never an easy thing. And then on top of that, because there was a big wind or tropical storm, we also that same line is there, and then a spring here around this thing, and then coming to the midship cleat, and then we have another spring line here going to the aft cleat. And then we have a spring line there aft. Not 100% a spring line, but it is working or servicing as a spring line. Okay, here's a plan that we came up with. <coughs> so we untied the stern line there, or the stern spring line. And technically that's actually a bow spring line, but let's not get into details. And then this one is now like a slip line. And then we've got another slip line here that is much longer from here going all the way 
around this one as a slip line. So the idea is we will release that line over there while the engine is running and then pull ourselves closer with this one or well, this one will just be our arrest and then we will pull ourselves closer to with that one or any one of those two and then we will use the engines to break us because the wind is blowing us onto the, the poles let's see how that works <laughs> Too shabby for a first time round leaving the dock with pylons. We are saying goodbye to Fort Lauderdale, over there is 17th Street Bridge and this is the exit over here. Pietro is making one last minute call. Pietro is just quickly calling the family and say goodbye because we will not have a signal very soon. And yeah. This was a nice day, Port Lauderdale was quite okay for us, <laughs> pretty expensive as well, considering that we had to do some repairs, and yeah, we will talk about the repairs later. <laughs> this is Port Everglades, the, the entrance, and we've set it now for Bahamas, we have to check out, so we are Schedule to go to the Bahamas and we are going to West End. There's free Freeport. So we're going to Grand Bahama Island. For some reason we are requested to check out. We were requested by the US to check out. Watch the space. We are a surprise for you guys. Uh, sorry, I need to check there as well. There's a big ship coming in. Chat to you later. Just as we pass this big boat, there's dolphins right next to the, this big ship there. Oh, the sun is not going to be friendly with you, but they were just here in front. So it's like, welcome to the Atlantic. Let's go to the Bahamas. <laughs> so we just switch on the, the Starlink. I just put it here in, a, in, a, in a, our fishing rod holder. And we're going to test it out. We're still very close to shore. There is Fort Dorodale. So, it should pick up something. But it automatically corrected itself and then went flat. So, it's actually pretty cute. <laughs> I just love these big passenger liners that we cross, especially at night with all the lights are on. I've never been on one, have you been on one? Oh. oh my goodness, oh, I just noticed now, don't you think it's about time we change this flag? It's looking so crappy. But it, <laughs> it, it is 20, 23,000 miles, 23,800 miles. That is horrible. I think we need to change this. <laughs> I think I do have a new flag. Have you got one? Yeah, let's go get it. Voila! I thought we were going to put a new flag on. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, so we are changing the country. We are in the process of re-registering SISU. So we are not any longer a Seychelles flag. Watch the upcoming videos for changing a flag or 
flagging your boat. So these are calm seas, as you can hear, we're motoring, there's no wind. Nada. And we are on the tail end of what could be a hurricane that's going to form, but it's now a named storm, Alex. It's just ahead of us. And it's still an infant, so it's going to mushroom into something big. And so this one is a bit smaller. Yeah, way smaller. I hope the people can see it. So, out with the old and in with the new. Now we have to learn to speak proper English. Uh, no, not sure. I'm a Burki. Uh, a Bursian. We're going to have to work on that one. <laughs> That's a wrap guys, this is it for the week and thank you Patreons and followers, we really appreciate each and every one of you. Join us the next time when we're around that notorious Hatteras. Mm -hmm.